Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 11th, 2024. Well, um, I'm trying to get the blog out this morning as well. Um, I am still a little bit on the slow side, but thanks to everyone and all your kind wishes. I am feeling better. Um, back is healing up, so back back to the normal. Um, let's take a look um, at what happened on the overnight here. First off, Asian markets had a good night last night following through with that big surging move that the U.S. markets had at the end of the day yesterday. Just tore things up, ripping to the upside. And if we look across Asia, really strong moves. Um, the Nikkei hit a new record high above 42,000. Hong Kong also had a really strong day, up more than 2% on the day. That's a tech heavy sector there in Hong Kong. If we take a look at European markets, European markets are up, but much more subdued. Um, they're green across the board, but more of a modest growth over there, trying to wait and see how um, our inflation data here in the U.S. comes out. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, UK GDP did grow by 0.4%, so that also helped a little bit over there in those European markets. If we take a look at U.S. futures this morning, we're a little bit on the cautious side. Dow futures um, down uh, 67 points, S&P futures at the moment down seven points, and NASDAQ futures down 18.75 points. But you do have to realize I'm recording this pretty early in the morning. So a little bit on the cautious side this morning as we wait for that inflation report and of course, there are other reports in there that we'll want to be paying attention to. We'll talk about those in a moment. If we take a look at um, other things out here this morning, oil, oil moving up just a bit. If you saw those petroleum status numbers, we had a little bit of a easing in um, inventories. And that helped those oil prices pick back up. If you take a look um, at XLE, some of the oil producers had a pretty good, good day yesterday. The question is, will they be able to follow through in that price action? You can see that possibility that XLE could be trying to form a bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern. It all depends on how, what that follow through might look like on the day. Oil is only up 18 cents this morning at 82.28 bar a barrel. Brent crude is up 23 cents, up 80 at 85.31 a barrel. And natural gas is barely up, not quite half a cent here this morning. We take a look at uh, precious metals. Gold had a pretty good day yesterday, but ended up pulling back at the end of the day. We're still trying to attack this trend line here in the chart. This morning we're up um, at this moment, up over $6.80 an ounce. Um, silver is up just slightly this morning as well. In this nice little resting consolidation pattern, which I believe is kind of a bullish potential setup here. Um, copper, platinum, and palladium are just ever so slightly lower this morning. Cryptos are also having a pretty good day this morning um, as they try to rally back from some some ugliness that they've had um, last week and um, trying to pick this back up. We're up $914 a coin um, on Bitcoin and pretty much green across the board on those cryptos this morning. Taking a look at bond prices, Bond prices have been relatively behaved here this morning. Not much change there on those bond prices. Um, the two-year uh, bonds at 4.63%, the 10-year bonds at 4.28%, and the 30-year bonds at 4.47% as we wait on that inflation data. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video.
Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little bit of information about how we might want to approach the market for the day. Remember, we want to shake off that bias, trying to look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. When we take a look at the diamonds, oh my goodness, what a surge yesterday. And it happened, um, we were we were moving up nicely, pretty much after European markets closed, we, we really started to um, catch a bid and move back up. But then, as we got into that last 30 minutes of the day, everything zoomed. I mean, it was a chase, a rush into the market. So I don't know what the, what the anticipation is here. There must be a huge thought that the inflation report is going to be good. Um, we shall see. But taking a look in here, you can see very, very bullish candle here on the diamonds as they surged over 400 points to the upside. Now, taking a look, if the bulls can continue to find that inspiration today, then I would suggest attacking this resistance in the chart would be the likely outcome. Um, and if they can break through there, then we're probably going to be looking at some levels right in here and that possibility of all time highs being tested and blue skies above that if the bulls can push on through. As I've been saying, I'm expecting a pretty big move to occur. Now, I don't know if it's gonna to occur today, it certainly didn't look like what I would have, have expected yesterday, and I'll show you what I mean in just a little bit. But um, our market breadth has been so low that this is honestly was really surprising. So keep an eye on that. If the bears were to find inspiration today, well, a pushback into here and maybe testing some support areas here in the chart. Um, after such a strong move to the upside wouldn't be out of the question. If we were to get some bad data today and the bears were to really attack, boy, it would be an ugly move to bring this all the way back down here. It'd be kind of painful for everyone who chased in yesterday. And if that um, were not to hold, then I'm thinking maybe that possibility we come down into the lower side, give all of that candle back and maybe come in here and test this little upside trend. Breaking down below there, that would be an ugly day um, if the bears were to bring us all the way back down into here and break support in that area. I think a lot of concern would be cropping up in the market as well. If we take a look at our SPY, new record highs in the SPY, um, seven straight days to the upside and new record highs, six of those in a row. And yesterday was an incredible stretch to the upside. This morning, you can see maybe just a tiny little bit lower, relatively flat in here as we wait for the, that CPI number. But my goodness, um, all we can see to the upside is blue sky. If the bears were to find inspiration today, well then, a retest maybe of yesterday's low somewhere down in there there's a little bit of price support if we break down below there i would suggest it could get a little bit painful because we could drop back into this trend one of the things we want to remember is we are very far separated away from our 50-day moving average and um, if the bears were to find some inspiration it could be a painful move to the downside but any rest or pull back into this trend that finds a support level and we bounce off of that there'd be no harm no foul there and the bulls would maintain that control if we take a look at our qqq massive surge yesterday in the qqq as well um, seven days straight to the upside and yesterday was quite the surge at the end of the day to the upside, setting new record highs six of those seven days. And you can see just a little bit of rest in there on the pre-market this morning, anticipating what the that CPI might be. If the bears were in blue skies above, that's all you can say, the bulls to the upside. It is just a, 
no price seems to be too high when chasing these big techs higher. And if we take a look, if the bears were to find inspiration, maybe giving that candle back yesterday would be the first move. And then beyond that point, we'd start looking through some of these levels down in here where we could test before we come all the way back down and start looking at that support area of the trend and price area in the chart. So, uh, anything beyond that would probably raise some major concerns in the market but nothing in the chart right now suggests that's possible except the fact that we are so incredibly extended that we can't rule out the possibility of some profit taking if any kind of selling shows up if we take a look at our um, iwm IWM also um, right at the end of the day surged up had a really good move to the upside here the question now is can it follow through and break through that little downtrending area in the chart you can see we got a little bit of bearishness there in the pre-market but if it can pop up through there, then I would suggest we have that opportunity to move up into this next area of resistance. And then, of course, testing this other downtrend area here in the chart to see if we can pop through there. Beyond that point, we'll start looking at some of this price action in here to see if we can move on through and then start pushing up into this major resistance area that goes back all the way back over here, substantial area of resistance in the chart now if the bears were to find inspiration here on the day then pushing back down into this area would not be all that much of a surprise reacting negatively to that resistance maybe pushing back down if it holds this support in this little upside trend i think we're fine breaking down beyond that would probably raise some concern here in the market on the Russell. Let's take a look at our VIX. Interestingly enough, as we were racing to the upside, our VIX was also moving up yesterday. So pretty subtle here on this move. Um, as you can see, no break of that downtrend here just yet. This might constitute Kind of a morning star type pattern a bullish pattern on the vix but it's really going to matter what the follow through here is if we can get um, a follow through to the upside if the bears find that inspiration and push us up through here then uh, maybe there be um, a reason for some worry or some caution maybe some reason to tighten up those stop losses and start protecting yourself for a pullback in the market, just a profit taking pullback anyway. So, um, but right now can't see, um, you know, any evidence just yet um, that they are going to break that. Remember breaking above is one thing. It's the hold of the higher low that really uh, worries the market. And that's where some real selling can come in. But sometimes we can see that move up out of here be pretty solid and substantial if fear starts coming into the market. However, the way the market has been acting right now, we have no fear as long as we can continue to push up, um, you know, just a few tech sector stocks. Um, we're pretty happy and content with that at the moment. Um, so if those um, bulls continue to find that inspiration, the fact that we would push back down here couldn't be a major surprise against that resistance in the chart. If we take a look at uh, T2122, our T2122 was relatively flat right until the last 30 minutes of the day. We were hovering right around 50% and actually just a little bit lower about 30 minutes before the close and then that that mad rush to buy something that chase happened and we bounced up here about 70 percent area in t2122 now you can see we've been pretty range bound here in this choppiness as we've been waiting for this cpi and waiting for the beginning of earnings in here so watch that carefully but if the bulls find inspiration here on the day we certainly have that opportunity we could stretch right up on here into that upside in the chart you want to make note that if the bears were to find inspiration well we opened up a pretty big opportunity for the downside there if for some reason that cpi number or the jobs data or something like that disappoints the market so watch carefully if we take a look at our t2108 
again right at the end of the day we were in this area right in here about 30 minutes ahead before the close and then we had that big surge to the upside so we ended the day with about 40 percent of the stocks above their 40-day moving average now that's a significant improvement here all of a sudden on almost no volume I mean, the volume was incredibly low or the breadth of the market was incredibly low and so watching that carefully if we can hold this up here then um, we're starting to show some major improvement uh, breaking that downtrend we'll see if we can get the breadth to pick up here soon because it has been so light but if uh, the bulls find inspiration certainly every reason to believe they could start pushing this through onto the upside if the bears were inspired maybe we can pull back and hold this area as support where the concern would come in as if we reversed and start coming back down here testing support area in that chart but quite an improvement yesterday in the last 20 30 minutes of the day on t2107 the same thing had a as a matter of fact it was looking still weak um, heading in to um, the close of the day um, down in this area and then suddenly just reversed and went hard to the upside right there at the end of the day breaking through this resistance 52 percent of the stocks above their um, uh, 200 day moving average saw so a major improvement there if they can hold this area here or push even higher that's great for the bulls if the bears were to find inspiration breaking back down we were down here yesterday below the 50 percent area for quite a bit of the the day and then just suddenly surged to the upside if we take a look at our t2101 this is the odd thing t2101 um, at one point in time was below nine yesterday this is incredibly low in market breadth um, incredibly low and as you can see by the end of the day with that surge back up all we did was flatten out the breadth of the market is extremely weak remember we're in the blackout period here we can't do any corporate buybacks the institutions are kind of um, um, handcuffed here at the moment with a lot of the things that they can do so be really careful here with a breadth being so low we have to consider the possibility of a whipsaw and how painful that whipsaw could be after that surge yesterday so watch carefully for that possibility on such low breadth let's take a look at our earnings calendar here for today um, our earnings or excuse me our economic calendar here for today our economic calendar this is what I was talking about we um, have a big uh, uh, couple of data points here coming out before the open first off our CPI now CPI consensus is suggesting that the month over month increased by 0.1 the year over year they're saying uh, decreased to 3.1 so which one will they key off of here this morning what's interesting is they're showing x food and energy remaining flat and that the year over year on x food and energy actually increases now normally it's this number here that the market really focuses on will we focus on that today good question so watch that carefully there's a little bit of uncertainty in this number and that's why i say with such a surge on low breadth yesterday we should be watching for that possibility of a nasty whipsaw if we get disappointed in this number today jobless claims will then be next remember this has been problematic we've been starting to see jobless claims ticking a little bit higher and um, if we come in like this only 239,000 I think we're going to be fine uh, that's just a small increase in jobless claims if this were to jump up or if this were to come in much lower than expected meaning that the jobs numbers are hotter than we could uh, we could expect that's going to be a problem for the Fed and uh, maybe be that issue where um, it makes it harder for them to lower rates so watch that carefully here on that number today could also create quite a little bit of volatility now after that remember we've got a natural gas report we've got 
some bond speakers in here. I mean, not bond speakers, Fed speakers in here. We're going to have um, some bond auctions. The 30 year bond auction might be of note or noteworthiness today. Keep an eye on that. Treasury statement, a Fed balance sheet. And then as we look forward into Friday, we're going to have a PPI number. We've got consumer sentiment and a Baker Hughes. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today. Now, our earnings calendar, very, very light. Not a whole lot going on here this morning. The notables I have for this morning are Delta Airlines. And Delta Airlines having a, kind of a rough morning here after their earnings report. And PepsiCo. PepsiCo also having a bit of a rough morning. Uh, missing on... Um, uh, they beat on the top line, they missed on their revenues, and they guided lower here. So a um, little bit of a concern on both of those earnings reports this morning, showing maybe that consumer is weakening here and um, that problem that we've been getting these hints of. So watch that carefully here as we move throughout the day. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, just click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, also clicking that thumbs up button, leaving a brief comment helps a lot. I apologize, I didn't get those done yesterday. I was struggling so much with my back, but the good news is it is feeling better today and I'm, I'm moving around a lot more freely. So I am healing up. Um, I'll be back on that task today, answering those comments. So thank you so much, everyone, for your kindness on this. Remember, today is gonna be about the data. Um, anything is possible, no matter what we see in the charts. Anything is possible as that those data points come out and remember that it is also possible we get almost no reaction today in these numbers because we're going to be thinking about the beginning of the big bank reports on Friday. So, um, you know, be prepared for just about anything today. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. Remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here. Um, make sure that you're paying close attention to these data points before you make those decisions. Let's take a look at the US dollar. US dollar started to show um, a little bit of strengthening at the end of the day yesterday. We started to pick back up here um, in the day and then all of a sudden weakened. So let's keep an eye on this. As I mentioned before, this is going to be an interesting um, setup here where we have that opportunity that we could have kind of an inverted head and shoulders pattern on the dollar. So it's going to be probably data dependent as well. If the inflation and number starts coming in weaker and we get that hope that there is going to be a rate cut on the way, then I would look for the dollar to decline here and follow along with that head and shoulders pattern in a possible short here in the dollar. Now, if this declines, if the dollar starts moving down, start looking at some of those commodity prices um, in here, silver in this nice little consolidation area here, a pop through up here would definitely be of interest to me anyway for that push to see if we could come back up and test these recent highs. Watch that carefully in gold could be kind of interesting as well. Gold already trying to surge up a little bit this morning, maybe in, in anticipation of that, but watch carefully if that were to break out up here um, it could really start picking up to the upside. Now, another thing, if that dollar were to weaken, really keep an eye on those bonds. Bond yields will likely fall if that um, those numbers are favorable for a rate cut. Bond yields will fall, bonds will go up. And so keeping an eye here on TLT, this is a nice little bullish pattern as we bounce back in a corrective move. This dropped so hard and then came right back. So watch this carefully. If that were to pop on through here, that would be of interest. Watch that carefully here in TLT. You could also look at BND. That's already trying to make that gap through here this morning. 
pop and pull back. So watch this resistance up here and JNK also showing that bullish potential pattern here on those bonds for that opportunity to move on higher. You might also want to be keeping an eye on things in um, the oil and gas area. If we take a look at um, XLE here, we looked at this earlier, um, but if I pull up a component list of everything in that list and then I do a little quick sorting, um, and by the way, this is one of the great advantages of TC2000. Um, I can do some quick sorting to find out what's moving here in the market, and I can see things like FANG setting up a nice bullish pattern. If we start to see some weakening in the dollar, those bond yields coming back down, watch for those opportunities here that we could continue these upside moves. KMI looking good in that possible breakout coming here. So watch some of these in here. TRGP, really beautiful potential upside setup. MRO, Marathon, trying to hold a higher low in here. So keep an eye on some of these stocks. That opportunity, nice little resting consolidation pattern here on WNB. A weakening dollar might send that on higher. So keep an eye on those. You might also want to be taking um, a good look at some of these retail stocks. Um, Walmart continuing to stretch here to the upside, which is interesting because they, they continue to say the consumer is weakening, and yet Walmart just can't find enough buyers. They're pushing them hard here to the upside. New record highs possible this morning at the open. Keep an eye on that. Costco, Costco surged um, yesterday as well, ripping to the upside here. So keep an eye on some of those. Now at the same time, we have you know, stocks like Target, you know, uh, holding a support level, but not looking so good. Things like Dollar General um, kind of stinking up the, the show here. So there are stocks in that retail space not looking so good. Um, one of them that is looking very good is TJ Maxx and continuing to show uh, lots of potential strength in here. So it's very selective in there when we see things like Lulu continuing to fall and, and, and drop um, so it's really quite a mix in those retail areas in here. You're going to have to be pretty careful overall. Take a look at Chewy. Chewy had this nice run out of this bottom, breaking this downtrend here in the chart. And we have rested that back. Nice little pullback consolidation. This is something we call a J-hook. And that opportunity that we could see the bulls continue to pick this up, pushing that to the upside. I would watch that one closely for that opportunity. Um, take a look at Berkshire B. Berkshire B making that move through that downtrend here. We rested just a little tiny bit here after breaking through and tried to follow through strongly to the upside and keep an eye on Berkshire. You want to be keeping an eye on these banks. Um, whoops, not CLF, XLF. By the way, CLF would be another one that you'd want to be paying attention to, steel. If um, we start to see that dollar weaken, you can see breaking this downtrend, possibly holding a higher low. It's a nice looking chart in that opportunity that that could move up. Um, but XLF, watching some of these financials, remembering that we've got several of these that are going to be reporting tomorrow, showing lots and lots of strength heading into these earnings. And even with all of the major problems that we're hearing about in the commercial real estate, we're surging in the regional banks. Now, I don't know if this gonna, is going to play out the way um, this is looking in here because there's even talk that there's going to be some major problems coming in some of these regional banks. But watch that carefully. Right now, the bulls are, it's as if they can't find enough things to buy at the moment. So pushing up strongly here and defying some of those news reports out there of major problems in those areas. Take a look at Intel. Intel continues to hold up here. Big surging move this week, uh, maybe resting in here on this pattern. You can see we've got a little bit of price support right in here. We're trying to hold 
if we continue to see this big tech um, environment moving us up, every reason to believe we could come up here and test this downtrend. Breaking through there could be really interesting if it holds the higher low and then we'd be looking for more upside in that Intel chart. So keep an eye on that um, Micron. Micron had a good day yesterday pushing back up. It's gonna be important that this holds this area right in here, holds that area of support. So if this holds in here, look for that next opportunity there. Certainly when we look at the big tech giants, there's a lot of them. Um, looking great here. Um, Google still looking very strong, had a good push yesterday. In fact, most of the tech giants were up strongly yesterday. So I'd be looking for the possibility of follow through there on those. So watch those carefully. So with that, guys, there's quite a few stocks for you to look at, quite a few things for you to think about for today. Remember, anything is possible. I want to wish you all the very, very best today. Be careful, be safe, protect your capital. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Have an awesome day. Everyone.